the media clearly has a huge influence in how the public perceives refugees. Um, we saw how quickly public perception was ch changed in relation to refugees when they became really deeply tragic figures, when we saw children suffering, when we saw the child obviously drowned on the beach, but also children being kicked as they were traveling across Hungary. There was, those were things that really brought to people's minds the reality of the humanity of the people who we classify usually as a kind of a, a uh, an undifferentiated swarm of people. So the media has the capacity to produce really rich human stories. That's what the media is possibly best at. On the other hand, the media also has the capacity to produce really quick uh, stereotypes, to produce half thought out um, sensationalist depictions of groups that are actually much more rich and much more complicated than what the media pretends. So what we often have is, you know, a language of influx, a language of swarm, a language, a language of invasion almost. This is much more prevalent, I think, in the British press in many respects than it is in the Irish media. I don't think the Irish media is by any means the worst at this sort of practice. But there's no question that the media can make a difference from telling human stories or from telling inhuman sensational stories.